join kids hat family i hate them all whoa 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 what's wrong tofu my friends they never want to do anything together each one of them wants to do things his own way because of this our school project was delayed and today we lost our collection of game cards to the other boys oh that's bad i don't know what to tell them can you talk to them tia please you always know what to say i think it's important that you talk to them tofu but i will help you how what should i say to them tell them the story of the cows and the tiger the cows and the tiger once upon a time four cows lived together they were best friends they did everything together they grazed together and went to the water hole together but they did not know that a tiger had his eyes on them for a long time ah those cows they look so delicious but only if i could catch any one of them alone i wouldn't hunt and eat her immediately alas they always go everywhere together i cannot tackle all four of them together it will result in my death One day the cows had a disagreement and fought with each other. I don't want to see any of you again. I can't believe I thought you were all my friends. I don't want to have anything to do with you all anymore. You are the most selfish cows in the world. I am better off without you. It will do me good to get rid of you all. And so for the first time The cows went their separate ways. None of them wanted to see each other again, and the tiger got the chance he had been waiting for. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. It has finally happened. Now I will kill each of them and have a hearty meal. The tiger did exactly that. He attacked each cow one by one. With her friends not there to protect her, each was defenseless against the ruthless tiger. died That's the perfect story dear Just what I need to bring my friends together I will go and tell them right now Okay let me know what happened tofu I surely will dear Bye Tofu? Tofu? Tofu, what are you doing here? Your friends and I were waiting for you at the library. 
I thought you promised to go with us and help our librarian, Miss Peters, today. Oh dear, there are so many of you. I'm sure you can manage without me. But Tofu, you promised. Why are you so angry, dear? It's just the library. Yes, but you promised us. How can you be so careless, Tofu? If you behave like this, one day you will have no friends left. What do you mean? Haven't you heard of the bear and the two friends? No. Okay, let me tell you their story. Once upon a time, two friends had to travel through the forest. It was a dangerous forest with many wild animals. There were lions, bears, snakes and even poisonous spiders in the forest. As the two friends entered the forest, they were gripped with fear of what lay ahead. I am so scared. I wish we didn't have to go through this forest. I agree with you. But we have no choice. We must cross the forest to get to the other village. What if we get into trouble? Let's promise that if any of us get into trouble, the other will not run away. He will stay and help the one who is in trouble. Yes, I promise you my friend. I won't leave you alone if you are in trouble. And I promise you the same, my friend. I am feeling less scared now. I think now I can easily cross the jungle. I'm glad. Let's go. After some time of walking through the forest, the two friends heard a rustling sound from the bushes ahead of them. They stopped in their tracks. Oh, what do you think it is? Shh! I don't know. I can't see clearly. Can you? Just then, a large dark figure appeared ahead of them. Oh no! It's a wild bear! It hasn't seen us yet. Run! Saying so, the boy climbed up a tall tree and sat on one of its branches. But his friend didn't know how to climb a tree. My friend, I don't know how to climb a tree. Please help me climb it. But the boy on the tree did not help him. He shook his head and held closely to the tree. The boy on the ground saw the bear approaching him and quickly lay down on the spot. He had heard that bears do not attack dead things so he closed his eyes, held his breath and lay very still. The bear came close to him. It came close to his head and sniffed and smelled his ear to see if the boy was breathing. But the boy held his breath. Thinking that he was dead, the bear left the boy and moved on. After the bear had left, 
the boy from the tree came down. Are you all right? Y yes, I am. That was a close call. True, it was. Tell me, my friend, I saw the bear come close to your ear and whisper something. What did it say to you? It told me to be wary of a false friend and not keep such company. Which of the two friends do you think are behaving like Tofu? Like the one who broke his promise and climbed the tree. Hmm, what are you going to do about it? Uh, apologize to you and my friends and go to the library immediately to help. Okay, shall we go then? For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hut family. Subscribe here.